Hi. In this short video, we'll discuss about inductors. We'll learn what is an inductor, why do we use inductors in electronics, and what are the main types of inductors. So what is an inductor? An inductor is a passive electronic component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field when current flows through it. It's usually made of a coil of wire. It is denoted as L and measured in Henry's, named after the American scientist Joseph Henry, who was a pioneering physicist in the field of electromagnetism. In simple terms, an inductor is just a coil of wire that stores energy as a magnetic field and resists sudden changes in current. Symbol of inductor is drawn as a series of curved or looped lines resembling a small coil or spring, like this. We can compare the electric circuit with the water pipe circuit as shown in the diagram. Here, the water flow is similar to the electric current and water wheel can be compared with an inductor. The water wheel stores energy in the form of rotational motion or kinetic energy. When water flows, it makes the wheel spin and this spinning continues even if the water flow changes suddenly. A water wheel resists sudden changes in water flow and takes time to speed up or slow down. Similarly, an inductor stores energy in its magnetic field when current flows and it keeps the current going even if the supply changes suddenly. An inductor resists sudden changes in current, storing energy in its magnetic field and releasing it gradually back into the circuit. Now, let us discuss about the inductance formula. The inductance of the inductor depends on the following key parameters. 1. Number of turns. Inductance increases with the square of the number of turns. More turns means higher inductance. 2. Core material. Inductance depends on the permeability of the material used. It can be air, iron, ferrite, or some other material. A higher permeability increases the inductance. 3. Cross-sectional area of the coil. A larger coil area or radius increases inductance, since more magnetic flux is linked. 4. Length of the coil. Inductance is inversely proportional to the length of the coil. A longer coil means lower inductance. So the formula shows that the L is proportional to the square of turns, permeability of the core, and the cross-sectional area of the coil. It is inversely proportional to the length of the coil. In short, more turns, bigger area and better core material leads to higher inductance and longer coil leads to lower inductance. Now, why do we use inductors in electronics? Inductors are used in electronics because they can store energy in a magnetic field, oppose sudden changes in current and filter signals. Some main applications of the inductors are 1. Energy storage Inductors store energy in their magnetic field like a spring stores mechanical energy. 2. Filtering and smoothing. They block high-frequency signals while allowing low-frequency or DC signals to pass. That's why they're widely used in power supplies, audio circuits, and radio electronics. 3. Tuning circuits. In combination with capacitors, inductors form LC circuits that can tune to specific frequencies for radio tuning, oscillators, and other applications. 4. Chokes. They limit AC while letting DC pass smoothly, helping reduce noise in circuits. 5. Transformers with coupled inductors Inductors are the basic building blocks of transformers used in power transmission and conversion. In short, we use inductors to store energy, filter signals, control current, and tune frequencies. Now, let us discuss the types of inductors. There are main three categories of inductors. Based on core material category, Inductors can be classified in air core, iron core, and ferrite core. Air core inductors have only coils and no core. Iron core inductors have iron core and have high inductance at low frequencies. And ferrite core inductors, which have ferrite material as core and are used in high frequency circuits. 2. Based on construction category, inductors are classified as toroidal inductor, multilayer or chip inductor, and power inductor. 3. Based on adjustability, inductors come in fixed inductor or variable inductor. These are the main types, but many more types are available for various applications. Subscribe this channel for more such videos.